Hey, pleasant good day everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric and this is going to be a very quick video on Aaron Nola getting the opening day start. Obviously, we thought that was a foregone conclusion already. Unless if Zach, we were pitched like really, really, really well in spring and camp and he's pitched solid but not really, really, really well. And on top of that, his wife is expected to go into labor somewhere around the start of the season. So, Obviously, we knew Noah was going to get this nod. It's the right move. It's the right decision. He's your ace. He's the guy that knows how to pinpoint, locate the strike zone. Obviously, he's not a wheeler in the sense of 97 to 100 miles per hour, but you don't need that in Noah because he has good movement on his pitches. He knows how to pitch backwards when he wants to. He's a guy that has all those wits as a pitcher. He thinks the game. He's a genius. And I think this guy this year, I said it, in the Always Next Year's podcast, Chasing the Pennant podcast, check that podcast out, it's awesome. Um, I said it on our podcast there, that I believe the highest ERA Noah will have this year in a 60-game stretch is a 3-2, and that is at the highest. I think he can get easily below that as well, but the highest rather is a 3-2. This guy has a great, he obviously made his breaking ball better as time goes on, his changeup's good, and obviously... Al, we have issues with some of our other pitchers, other than we've seen Vinny Velo pretty accurate in these exhibition games, as well as camp throughout this year from spring training onward to now. We have questions there. We don't have those with Noah. Noah knows how to hit the strike zone. So I really like us setting the table with Aaron, Aaron Noah and obviously get, making the obvious decision. But now, for game two, I believe that'll probably be Vinny Velo. He's looked really good, and it'll be Wheeler most likely if he's able to go, but from now, it's sounding like that's around when he might have to step away and when his child's going to be born and he's going to be away for a bit. And it looked like having that extra at-bat, having us go that extra at-bat in the exhibition game made it seem like Girardi, like they said on the broadcast, wanted to stretch out Velasquez to be able to say, okay, we'll put him in in the second game. And I think that's a really good move as well because Vince Velasquez starts seasons very well. Facing the Marlins, he can come and he can keep fire, and he was hitting the strike zone pretty well in camp throughout to now from spring training onward, like I said. So I think he can really benefit from playing a lineup like that, really hitting the ground running early. You have Nola setting the table. You have Vinny Velo coming in and blowing it by them after him in the second game, I think that can work out really, really, really well for the Phillies. But this has been a quick about three-minute video on the Phillies and their opening day pitcher, as well as who I believe will be their game two starter in Vince Velasquez. Have a great and safe day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Peace out.